So there's a brilliant piece written in the Jerusalem Post by a woman called Diane Weber Biederman. And I want to share some of the key points she made in it that really need to be heard everywhere. Nothing has changed, she says. This attack on Israel was equivalent to murdering 48,000 Americans on 9-11. Except the Jews weren't just murdered. They were raped, mutilated and burned. After 9-11, America responded to the terrorist attack with no holds barred and full support. America went on the offense and attacked Iraq, attacked Afghanistan, and was at war there for 20 years. 20 years. How many innocent Muslims were killed? Then America retreated. And what happened? The Taliban, the enemy, returned. Yet America has the gall to tell Israel how to fight and when to stop. After America's monumental failure in a war with a country thousands of miles away, not next door. America killed five Gazans by dropping food in an airlift. Remember that story? Who cares? Who's freaking out about that? In 2006, U.S. troops in Iraq mistakenly killed aid workers in Mosul. In 2008, they killed dozens at an Afghan wedding party, including the bride. In an incident in 2011, during the NATO intervention in Libya, 13 civilians, including ambulance workers, were wiped out. While the West is condemning Israel, they say nothing about Muslims continuing to shoot rockets at civilians in Israel. People at a rally in Sydney, now recently in Australia, chanted, Gas the Jews. In Maine, a father and son vandalized towns with signs, Gas Jews. So remember, nothing says loving like a baby in the oven, and Islam says it best. Diane Weber Biederman. She's on point. Why is the focus so hard on Israel after six months? Regardless of the fact that all these other countries, not just America, all of them have done way worse in times of war. Nobody screams about that. No one talks about that. No one even mentions the genocide Turkey's committed or other places. No one talks about the Uyghurs in China. But Israel? Because for a time such as this, in these moments, anti-Semitism will rise. The Jews that are still out there will return home and they will come to where they need to be for Daniel's final week. And we, while we are still here, will pray for Israel and bring them before the throne of grace constantly. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.